Hey guys, it's Mrs. Anglade, and here I'm here to talk to you today about multiplication clusters. Now this is a new way of probably that you would think about multiplication. You probably have never seen this way, but ultimately it's my favorite way to multiply um, because essentially this way um, you're going to find division is just the opposite of what we're going to learn how to do today. So if you've not already done so, my intention is for you to make a tab booklet in your composition book. If you've not done that today, Maybe you've just gotten the copies, the handouts. We will be making a tab booklet in your composition book. So, um, so don't worry if it's not in there yet. Um, just know that it will eventually get in there tomorrow if it didn't get in there today. But follow along, write down what I write down in the blanks, and then write down any examples that I do with you. Okay, we first want to talk about relationships with products. So for example, like last week's lesson on multiplying by powers of 10, 16 times 10, that's really easy, right? We know that that's 160, okay? Then we can figure out lots of other related problems by using what we know about 10 to, we're gonna talk about halving, so we're gonna to half and double. Okay, taking half of 160 is not hard and doubling 160 is not that bad either. So, what do I mean by that? If I have 16 times 10 is 160, can you tell me what 16 times 5 is? Think about that. How is 5 and 10 related? We know that, and we're going to say it over here in a minute, that 5 is half of 10. And I'm going to talk about a story context down here in a minute. So if I know 10 times 16, then I can figure out 5 by 16, times 16 by taking half of that. One half of 160 is pretty easy, right? 80. And how did we do that? We halved, we're going to use the past tense that, by having, oh, no, I'm sorry. We're going to use the current tense of it. By having the answer, we took half of the answer. Just like taking five groups um, from 10, we can also take 20 groups by using what we know, the relationships with 10. We can also find 16 times 20, and we know that that's 320. How do we know that? Do you know what word is going to go in this? We didn't have the answer. We doubled it. Du by doubling. Sorry, I went doubling in there. Sorry. By doubling the answer above. Okay, so let's talk, t take a look at a story context down here so it makes sense to you. If I said I had 16 ba apples each in 10 baskets, right? Equal groups put together. Well, what if I didn't have 10 baskets? What if I only had five baskets? How is that related? Isn't five baskets half the baskets of 10? Right, so it would be half of the amount. And let's say that I had 16 apples each in 20 baskets. Well, how is that related to 10 baskets? Wouldn't that be just double the baskets of 10? Okay, so we're going to use this a lot today. In fact, we're going to use this all year long. We're going to talk about what is it, what's 10 groups? Can we figure out five groups? Can we figure out 20 groups? And so on. If we know 10, we can do lots of things with other numbers. So let's take a look and, and put this into, into play. All right, so we're going to talk about clustering. Clustering. Sorry, that's an I. Clustering involves using clusters of... 10 and the relationships of 10 and just like we talked about on the last slide we're either going to have the the um, groups of 10 or we're going to double groups of 10 and we might even you know double it again to solve story context so let's take a look at an example so we can make sure we understand it there are 42 shirts in each case that was delivered if you put away 19 cases of shirts how many shirts did you put away Okay, now we can do the box method or partial products like we did last week, but I want you to think of another way we can think about this. We're going to cluster 42 shirts into 19 cases. Okay, so we're going to start with 10 cases of shirts first. So 42 times 10, that's pretty easy, right? 420, 1 times 42, and then we get to add that 0 to the end. Now we're going to take, it says half of 10 cases. Well, what's half of 10? 5, right? We can find out what 42 times 5 is by just taking half of 420. Let's see if we can do it in our head. Ready? Half of 400, 200. Half of 20, 10. Now put it together. 210. Good. Okay. 
Now, so we've done 15 cases. We need to do 19 cases altogether. That's why we're going to do two cases of 42. We've done 15. We need to do four more. I can't quite do 42 times 4, so I'm just going to do 2. I'm going to double 42, and that's pretty easy. Double 40, double 2 is 84, and then another uh, two groups of 42, okay? Now, right here, I want you to take a look at that right there. Do you see those 19 cases that we did? It's fit right there. All we have to do now, boys and girls, is we have to add this together. Now, I'm going to add it in two separate sets because, I'm, you know, it's a little bit easier to sometimes do it in two parts. These top two right here is going to be 630. And then this two groups of 84, 84 and 84 is 168. And I bet you could probably do that from um, your head and get 798. Okay. Let's see if we get the same answer, but now we're not going to cluster 19 cases. We're going to cluster the 42 shirts. So we're always going to have 19 cases, but we're not going to put as many shirts in each case. We're going to do it, you know, groups of 10 or, or you know, 20 or whatever at a time. So we're going to start with 10 cases with only 10 shirts in each, and that's pretty easy, right? 190. Now, it says over here that we can double the 10 shirts. If we know 10 and I want 42... I could do 20 more shirts in each case, right? That would give me 30 shirts in each case. So can we double this? Let's see if we can do that. That one's a little bit harder. Here's what I would do. I would double 200 and then take 20 away. But let's take a look at how we could do it the other way. 100 doubled, 200, 90 doubled, 180. Now can you add that together? should be thinking over there. Don't make me do all the work. That's right. Hopefully you already said 380. Now, we doubled 10 shirts, so we're using what we know about the 10 shirts. So we have 30 shirts all together. Do you see why I need another group of 10? Right? Because I have 30 and I need 42. So we already know that, don't we? Okay? Now, if I have this makes 40 shirts in a box, in a case, I need two more. Okay? Well, let's see, 19 times 2, 2 groups of 19, 2 groups of 10, 2 groups of 9, 20, 18, it looks like it's going to be 38, okay? By just doing a little bit of adding over here, let's see what we get. 190 and 380, let's see, you know what I'm going to do? That 190 and 190, isn't that like a group of 20? I'm going to do 380 and 380, are you okay with that? I didn't have to. I'm going to. Now that's a little bit easier to add. 300 and 300, 600, 80 and 80, 160, and together make 760. Don't forget about my other group of 38 over there. I still have my group of, or my two groups of 30. You know what I mean. My two groups of 19, which is 38, is 798. Okay, now, you're thinking, Mrs. Angley, this is a lot of work to do a multiplication problem. It is, but you're going to find out in just a few days that this is essentially what we're going to do when we learn how to divide by double digits. We're going to learn how to do this clustering. And so in order for it to make sense, we have to understand how it works with multiplying before we can do it in um, dividing. Okay, you want to see another one? 35 times 25. I'm going to show you how to do, let's see, there are 35 classrooms at Kurtzinger that have 25 students each in them. How many students are there at Kurtzinger? All right, well, let's take a look. I'm going to do this one with you, and I'm going to see whether you can do this bottom one by yourself. So what we're going to do is we're going to cluster 25 students first. Okay? So I'm going to start with 10 students in each room, and 35 times 10 is 350. And that's 10 students in each room. Now, I need 25 students. So I don't need to do 20 students more. I probably just need to do 10 more, don't I? to get me 20 students. We're going to do five more down here, but right now we're just going to do another group of 10. And then if I know that 10 groups is 350, what can I do to find five? Now, it's not the easiest thing to do, but we can do it. We'll do it over here to the side if we need to. Can we half? That's right. I'm hoping that you said that out there. We can take half of the 10 students, the group of 10 students, right? All right, let's see if you can do it. Half a 300, hmm, half a 300. Uh, is that 150? 
and then what's half of 50? 25, and then together make 175. 175. Okay, can you add your 350 and 350 together? 300 and 300 is 600. 50 and 50 is 70. Sorry, 100. I don't know where that came from. And so that's a total of 700. So I'm going to jot that down over here. 700 and another 175 is 875. So our total is 875. All right, so what I want you to do down here is I'm even going to give you a clue. I'm going to help you fill in these numbers down here. That's double, and this is half. And I'm going to see whether you can figure out what goes in each of these three blanks. And then I want you to add it all up because here's my 35. Now we're going to cluster 25 students in 35 rooms. So now we're going to cluster the rooms. We're going to do 10 rooms at a time until we get to our 35, which is right here. Okay? So I'm going to pause the, the video. You pause the video too and see if you can fill these out before I come back on. Okay? Pause the video. You haven't paused it yet. The answers are about to pop up on the screen and you haven't paused it yet. See you in a little bit. All right, guys, I'm back. Hopefully you were able to get the answers. In 10 rooms, there's going to be 250. We needed a total of 35, so we had to find 20 more rooms, which gave us 500 because we doubled the answer, right? 250 doubled. And then we could find five rooms for a total of 35 rooms by taking half of 250. Half of 200, half of 50 gives us 125. When I add that all together, I have some notes over here on the side over here, we get a total of 875. Well, that's the end of today's lesson. We're going to do more clustering tomorrow. We're going to show you how to do it with a three-digit number, three-digit times two digits. So I will um, see you later, and um, we'll see you in class.